My name is Bukola Sayu. I am 13 years old. These Nigerian schoolgirls are precious to Nkechi Obodo. Through her Harlem-based not-for-profit Ketchi's Project, she raises money for the teens to go to school, but after the kidnapping of nearly 300 students, Obodo now fears for their safety as militants try to turn back the clock on women's empowerment on the continent. Nowhere is safe in Nigeria. I feel like they have really penetrated, you know, beyond what we know. Thank you, President Ketchi's Project. Bye. In these videotaped messages, Nigerian girls voice their gratitude for Ketchi's project, but it's been widely reported that now Nigerian girls are terrified to leave home and they're hiding out while Boko Haram terrorists are on the loose. Boko Haram, they are, they are feeling threatened. They don't want girls to be educated because they know that when you educate a girl, especially in Africa, when you give her the power through education, she's going to come back to educate her community and her families. As Obodo says she's especially proud that the First Lady tweeted her support for the girls in this powerful photo. She's a mother, you know, and I think that every single mom that is out there will be feeling the pains of these mothers. Through Ketchi's project, Obodo travels across the continent to check on her students in two schools. Her not-for-profit is sponsoring Saturday's rally at the Nigerian consulate, and she's hopeful that the terrorists will ultimately be defeated. As tragic as this situation is, this is going to uh, be a platform where we can actually begin to dialogue. Oh my God, I'm even more emboldened to do more for these girls, for the girls of Nigeria and uh, for the girls of Africa. Cheryl Wills, New York One.